jump right in. Excited again to host here the team at Hostfully. Excited to be with you. Uh, if you don't know Hostfully, um, we are um, a property management system as well as a digital guidebook system. We'll share a little bit more about those products here in just a moment. Uh, we have 50,000 properties on our platform. We host a million plus guests or travelers uh, through our sites and, and through our customer sites each month. Um, a lot of great recommendations, a whole lot of countries using Hostfully, and of course, uh, front and center right there in the middle, extremely proud of our premier partner status with the Booking.com team and uh, excited to dig in with you guys today. In addition to Hostfully as a business, we're, we're people and we love our people, we love our customers, and uh, we really place high value on the diversity of our people and our team also to protecting and taking care of the environment and making sure that we pass on a, a great environment to our kids and to future generations. And then also we love our customers. Our customers come first and our values guide us in serving them. And that's why we're excited to be with you today. Um, two products here at Hostfully that we offer our property management platform as well as our digital, digital guidebooks, digital, um, digital guidebooks. Um, the property management platform, of course, allows you to manage one unified calendar for your properties and listings. You can manage price, you can manage channel integrations, um, payment processing. There's great reports and customized reports as well as our mobile app. Um, and then a little teaser here, inbox and messaging, some cool stuff coming to inbox and messaging with uh, AI integrations and some really cool uh, generated responses that you can send out to your guests based on questions that they may ask you leading up to or during their stay. Some cool AI stuff uh, in the PMP, and you'll see some announcements about that this week, uh, as well as our digital guidebooks, which are really a complimentary offering um, to the property management platform, a great way for your guests to learn about the property that they're staying in, the house manual, the local recommendations, as well as a marketplace for upsells and driving additional revenue. Uh, and those digital guidebooks, little secret here, are also integrated to our AI and, and um, messaging responses to guests. So any great juicy information you put in those guidebooks is gonna be served up in guest responses through our AI inbox tool. So we're excited about the unification of those two platforms and how they work together to help make responding to guests a whole lot easier. Um, enough about Hostfully, uh, at least as far as our products go. Uh, Eric, I wanna go ahead and kick it over to you and let you take us through some recent events and what's going on with Hostfully and Booking.com. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Bryce. Um, yeah, so using Booking.com with Hostfully, definitely some, some big advantages there. So the first is that we have a high quality connection. So Hostfully has been a preferred partner with Booking.com for many of years. Um, so we have all the foundational APIs implemented and PMs process thousands of reservations through the Booking.com connection every single month. So if you're new to Booking.com, it's super simple to sign up through Hostfully. You can kick off a contracting process and within 10 minutes, get that contract signed and pretty seamlessly push your property data to booking.com to create listings. So once you have your listings up, we have real-time connectivity. So this means any update to rates, availability, content, photos, page scores, policies, you name it, those are instantly pushed to booking.com and we have um, a great integration there. A big shout out to Booking.com. Um, Booking.com is committed to helping us improve the integration. And we can see that earlier this year, we were invited out as part of the Seamless Experience Accelerator program. So um, as a premier partner, we got to go out to Booking.com's headquarters in Amsterdam and meet with a group um, of their team to talk about the integration. So you can see here this picture, this is us uh, the first day in Amsterdam at their headquarters, brand new headquarters, um, taking a tour of the building. So a very productive three days. We were transparent, we opened our books, we talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and we came back with a prioritized list of enhancements to focus on. So these enhancements were based on pain points that we heard from customers in support tickets, um, and things we knew that we need, needed to focus on. 
So just recently, we kicked off a six-month project to focus on these enhancements, and I want to share with you a couple things that we've already completed. All right, so in the past two months, we have developed a way to automatically enhance your photos to make them high res. And so why this is important is because booking.com has criteria that, um, that qualifies a photo as a high res photo, which is going to increase your content score. So um, we're making sure that your photos going into booking.com are high res, which will hopefully push your listing up in the search results and get it in front of more guests. So the higher the content score, the better the algorithm will look at your listing. Um, also, we now have quicker onboarding. So if you have an existing listing on booking.com, there's a process to connect with Hostfully where you'll need to go into the extranet and request that connection. Um, it used to be a manual approval by our team, but now over 75% of these connection requests are automatically approved. So that's instantly approved, which means you can continue the process right then and there. Um, and lastly, we're now showing more booking.com specific identifiers in the reservation in Hostfully. So we're bringing in the hotel ID, the room ID, and the rate plan ID. So you can easily see that booking.com specific information directly in the reservation. All right, so that was the last two months. Things that we're currently cooking up, um, we have the amenities, facilities, and services. And so right now, if you're using Hostfully, you may know that we don't have all the amenities, facilities, and services in Hostfully that exist in booking.com. And it's going to be hard for us to build that out because there's so many. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow users to be able to select those that we don't have in Hostfully in the booking.com extranet. So this is going to create parity with Hostfully and booking.com so that you have access to all those different amenities, facilities, and services, um, and that's coming out soon. Another thing we're looking to do and currently working on is making the order view um, more, more organized. So rent, taxes, fees, services, deposit, payment status, those are going to look a lot cleaner within the order view. And we're going to add commission details so you can see what percent or the amount that booking.com has taken for that reservation. Um, and we're, so you'll be able to report reservation changes as well. So you need to do this in booking.com right now, but you'll soon be able to do it in Hostfully where you can report changes to checkout dates. Um, you can report cancellations due to no shows or invalid credit cards. So we're looking forward to all those coming out. And by end of year, we're going to have improvements to our property settings. Um, for those who use Hostfully, the property settings, main settings tab, there's a lot of information on that tab. We're reorganizing that and we're going to allow you to enter a cancellation policy per property. So right now it's per channel um, for booking.com and then it will be per property. Uh, on the multi-unit side, so we're, we currently have multi-unit in beta. Um, we're going to make it easier to distribute rooms of the same type through booking.com. So if you have five one bedrooms of the same type, um, you can create that unit in Hostfully, push it to booking.com, and it'll display in booking.com as having an inventory of five. So what this will do is, is if the guest is on the listing, they'll have the option to maybe select two of those one bedrooms and then go to checkout. And that's where multi-room reservations comes in, is if that guest does select multiple units, they'll check out with those two units and those will come through to Hostfully. Uh, right now we do support that. The first one is a reservation, the second one is a block. So this enhancement will make it uh, much easier to, it'll make it so we support both of those via API. All right, going into the details there a little bit. But um, for those who aren't on booking.com and are on Hostfully, um, how to start, uh, this is the page you'll wanna go to, the booking.com, um, the channels page in Hostfully, 
we have a guide to help activate the booking.com channel. And we're here to support you the entire way. So um, we have lots of different ways to support you. We have help articles and you can see here on the left side, this is our widget. So if you have the property management platform in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you're going to see this widget and this will get you to our team, whether it's help articles, whether it's interacting with our AI bot to help find that information in help articles or talking with our team via chat or email. You can do that all directly from that widget. Now, if you're on our premium plan, you can schedule a video call with our tech support team directly from that widget. And if you're on pro pro plus or premium, you can schedule a call with your CSM or customer success manager. So that widget is key to getting support at hostfully. Um, definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't already. And then lastly, for anyone on any of our plans, we have hostfully office hours five days a week. So starter pro pro plus or premium. Um, you can join these office hours and talk with our team directly. So we're excited uh, for what's in store at booking.com. And uh, thank you all so much. If you need any help getting on booking.com or optimizing your listings, anything we can do for you, please reach out. All right, Kat. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Thank you so much for all those updates. I mean, I'm obviously super excited to see them and I hope everybody's excited to hear those coming as well. Um, thanks again for having us, for hosting this. We're just so excited to be here. The, the, the motto and the mission of booking.com is making it easier for everyone to experience the world. And that means everyone that's from guests to property managers and software partners such as Hostfully. I mean, we just saw a lot of those great examples. We're really committed to ultimately making it easier for you to grow your business. Um, so again, no matter who you are or where you want to go physically in the world or with your business, we're here to help make that happen. So a bit of what we're going to cover today. So we'll talk a little bit more about who we are, who booking.com is, some of our background, as well as the guests who are using our site today, and including how we find those guests through robust marketing efforts, what's new, some updated customized solutions for vacation rental managers specifically, and then some tips and tools to help you perform better. So obviously I might be a little bit biased, but we genuinely believe Booking is one of the best sources you can use. And we do have a lot of numbers to back that up. So Booking is the largest brand in the Booking Holdings portfolio, which on the previous slide we saw includes Kayak, Agoda, and Priceline as far as like travel and, and uh, property we can book reservations there. There's also Open Table and some others that are more around overall connected trip and uh, you know other pieces that go, that go along there too. So we love our stats and our data, and there's a lot here. I wanted to highlight a couple in particular. So again, for vacation rental space, since 2010, Booking.com has welcomed over 4.4 billion guests, and 1 billion of those are for, we, we, we call this category homes, we often refer to it as homes, so vacation rentals, non-hotels, homes, apartments, condos, you know, cottages, anything within that realm falls in that category. So about a quarter of, of bookings today and rapidly growing over the last few years are in that segment. Of those properties listed with Booking, over 45% of new vacation rental listings get their first reservation within a week. So that's part of our commitment to, to getting immediate results, really showcasing through a lot of new listing, either it's tagging or features, or just ensuring, again, working through partners such as Hostfully, that making sure your listing is you know, opt, like set up from for success from the start to be able to get those listings off the bat. So by the time you're working with us, we hope to bring you those guests straight away. We also have thousands of strategic partnerships. Uh, this is a really exciting area too. Some of these are airlines like Southwest Airlines. We know that's really big here in the US. KLM is another partner in uh, Europe that's, that's more prominent there. We also work with search engines such as Google uh, and Bing and travel companies such as Ctrip and TripAdvisor. So we have properties all over the world. We also have teams all over the world. Uh, Amsterdam is our headquarters, as Eric and the team went, you know, went earlier this year to work on those that workshop. Uh, that is where our brand new office campus is. We also have people locally, customer service, partner support, uh, local teams that are working with property managers directly, and and more. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of us and a lot of properties all over the world to be working with. 
So now let's zoom in a little bit on who are these guests that are contributing to those big numbers we just saw. So a large portion are our, our app users. Um, I personally love using the app. I use it even when I'm sitting at my desk. I just think like the interface is, is friendly. I'll go back and forth, but even for personal use, I'm always on the app. There's tons of international guests, more than half of more than half of guests booking room nights in the U.S. are from traveling internationally, traveling from other countries. Um, that's always been a strength of booking. That's been historically an area that we that we excel in, and that's still the case today. It's definitely rebounded since uh, the pandemic and lockdowns. Um, while our U.S. strength has grown as well, we still have that international reach. A lot of families and couples, those are the two largest segments that we see of as far as the number of travelers that are traveling in groups, a lot of families and couples there. Uh, but overall, one that's very compelling as well, at least to me, is the return bookers. So we see a lot of return guests. Over two thirds of our vacation rental guests return to book with us again. There is also the trend of users who will book one stay at the vacation rental, maybe another with the hotel, depending on the type of trip, if it's personal, business, families, again, depending on the size or any preferences. So that's an interesting trend to see as well. It really is having the right listing for the right guest at the right time. Uh, they're again on that repeat repeat user as well, you see 75% of room nights are booked by guests with five or more previous bookings. So a lot of, um, you know, just finding users that are comfortable and happy to come back again and again. So yeah, and then one more highlight specifically for vacation rentals, again, the non-hotel, we'll call them accommodations, over 42% of room nights booked are for properties other than hotels. So it's quite a huge volume uh, bookings well more than hotels as it, as it was previously known. It might still be thought of to a lot of people, but it's just really been really growing in this home vacation rental segment. And we'd love to see that through the actual stays. Okay, now how do we find these guests and attract these? these uh, users onto our site. So ultimately it's through widespread marketing efforts, partnerships, again, as I mentioned earlier, at the airlines and other, a few others, and overall just engaging campaigns. We're really trying to reach guests where they are through what we call low, medium, and high intent channels. So examples of low, like low intent channels would be sponsorships, such as Super Bowl commercials or sponsoring the MLB, media, maybe social media where you're already on the phone, and then high intent is using something like a search engine where you're actually likely to book by purchase that travel um, right there. So again, ensuring the right customers discover your business and making it easier for you to connect and grow with them. So the low intent category includes um, high impact creative through highly impactful media strategies. And, and I think I've said this a couple times already, but delivering the best message in the right places. So really trying to reach the guests where they are and driving incremental demand for our partners. And we've seen a lot of results through the celebrity spokespeople. You know, the media landscape is pretty cloud clouded and cluttered, but it's very memorable. We find that celebrities and these types of celebrity um, uh, brand ambassadors are yeah, memorable. So we brought back the Booking.Yeah campaign a couple of years ago with Idris Elba, first time ever doing a Super Bowl commercial. Then it was Melissa McCarthy and most recently Tina Fey. Um, even my dad texted me during Super Bowl and he saw the commercial for Tina Fey before I saw it. But it turns out he wasn't the only person who saw that Super Bowl ad was number one on YouTube for the second year in a row with the most views. There are over 100 million views for that ad alone. The other area is sponsorships. So if you watch baseball, you'll likely see booking.com all over the field in the background there being um, promoted as well as commercials during that time. So sports is a big area, meeting travelers where their passion points are, uh, the MLB, Euros, Women's FIFA, World Cup, and there's also cricket. So again, this is global, wherever cricket's popular, we're there as well. And then we also have a huge initiative and really I believe in the diversity and strengthening of um, sponsoring Pride events. So like in Amsterdam, Booking just did a huge sponsorship during Pride Month. It was a, a big contributor to the events out there as well as all over the world. Uh, let's see, another one that I thought was really interesting was Taylor Swift. I think everybody knows that name now. That uh, During the Eras tour release in theaters, Booking was one of four brands to be part of that cinematic release and to be shown there. So again, that's all over. We have sports, we have entertainment. Um, there's all kinds of just yeah, hopefully wherever you are, you're seeing these as well, but that's where our goal is to be with the guests. So 
it's not really ideal to just take the Tina Fey commercial and then cut it down into smaller clips and put it out on TikTok. Uh, we've done a lot of testing and really see that native content, custom content for each of these platforms performs the best. Um, I talked about using I love our booking.com app. I also am an unabashed uh, TikTok user. I think it's, it's been pretty fun occasionally here and there. And you can tell where that content originates. You know, if it's been if it's like, let's say, horizontal versus vertical or, you know, depending on the just the, the visuality of it. So that's something that Booking is very committed to making that customized um, for the platform. So TikTok, Instagram, where the other ones are, uh, as well as in doing that over in over 200 countries and 44 languages. So we're really tailoring that towards every potential guest. Uh, and we want to be we, we all live in our phones. We want to be where those users are. So that's what we consider like the medium intent space. You're already on your phone where you might be then converting into a high intent, making that, that booking. Uh, as far as apps go, last year, booking.com was the most downloaded travel app in the world by far. And actually in 2023, it was the first time ever we were the most downloaded travel app in the U.S., which again speaks to the growing growing footprint uh, in the U.S. So we were really excited about that for domestic growth and strength too. We work really hard to ensure people are engaging with the app and yeah, it pays off over 50%. So more than half of our bookings now are coming through the mobile app, which is a huge difference from five or 10 years ago. One more that's on here that's an interesting example. I actually recently learned about this one too, is a partnership with Mercedes. So the app is now embedded in their system and their operating platform. The idea there being if you know, you're driving along on a road trip, uh, looking for a last minute place to stay, you can do it seamlessly through that interface. So that's a, that's, again, that's a new one. That's pretty exciting. We're interested to see how that does and it may be potential to have more in more cars in the future to really capture those guests. So kind of to summarize this portion of it, consumer behavior is rapidly changing and it's really important to be on top of that and Booking is working really hard to do that. And that's how we're trying to move, you know, keep guests be top of mind through the low, medium, and high intent outlets. And then, yeah, from there, I think I'll pass it on to Caden to talk a little bit more about how we do that. Thanks, Kat. <clears throat> yes, hello, my name is Caden. I'm actually on the onboarding team for vacation rentals here at booking.com. So I may have uh, worked with some of you in the past. Otherwise, I hope to work with many of you in the near future as well. But um, I get to dive into what's new and exciting here at Booking.com, some of the features that we're bringing into the program. Uh, we're constantly engaging in testing to innovate and enhance the hosting experience on the Booking.com platform. And I'm happy that I get to walk you through some of those latest updates uh, that will give you the most, uh, take, take the most out of your partnership with Booking.com. Uh, first and foremost, I always wanted to start off with to protect you and your property. Um, at Booking, we do recognize the importance of ensuring security when renting out your properties and those of your clients. And uh, we've, there, that's why we've curated a suite of tools and programs designed to protect both you and your properties at every stage along the rental process. Uh, to start off with, we do have our damage program. The damage program provides coverage for unforeseen um, accidents and incidents within your homes, which uh, gives you the confidence that uh, any accidental damage will be taken care of uh, directly through the platform. Uh, next, we do have our awesome liability insurance. This is a $1 million policy that's included uh, just for having your listing on the booking.com. Um, this uh, this uh, covers you for claims from guests and third parties. Uh, for example, if a guest were to leave water on at your property uh, and damages the neighbor's our property, this would uh, cover that uh, those losses. We also have the house rules. We offer the ability to set specific house rules within your, each individual listing to allow you to establish those clear expectations with you and your guests, uh, minimizing the potential for misunderstandings or rule violations uh, for, during those reservations. And then a pr fraud uh, prevention. This is a big one that we've been, really been working on. Um, we've embedded fraud protection within our payments by booking platform uh, that I will go over in just a little bit, but it is designed to detect and prevent any suspicious activity uh, before it ever becomes a property uh, a problem on your property. Um, and then last but not least, in the rare instance that uh, an issue does arise during a reservation, uh, we do have our misconduct reporting tool. Uh, this is where you ensure that any concerns that do come up are swiftly addressed and you're able to get the support you need directly from booking.com and uh, manage that effectively and with peace of mind. 
Hey there, Caden. I might jump in here really quick just because there's a question related to your slide there. Um, on damage yes. protection, we've had a couple questions on enrolling in damage protection or um, submitting a claim. Any, any guidance you could provide on that? Yeah, if you are on the payments by booking platform, um, you just need to be in your booking.com extra. And that is, you'll see within the reservation details as well, there is a the misconduct reporting tool. So if you click on that in that individual reservation, you are able to um, fill out a brief report. Just let us know what that damage is and uh, we take it from there. Excellent, thank you. Of course. Okay. And then uh, the next feature, which I am, uh, this is one of my favorite features I get to work with on a regular ba uh, basis. It's payments by booking. Uh, payments by booking is a payment solution that we've partnered with Stripe. And it's currently available for all properties that's located within the United States and Canada. However, we are continuing to work on rolling this out to, uh, more of a global effort as we are seeing it uh, improve uh, relationships very nicely within the United States and Canada. So with this service, you gain a host of benefits like additional fraud protection, guaranteed payments, and no chargebacks whatsoever uh, within your reservation. So it gives you peace of mind that when reservations are coming into your system, that they're guaranteed. It also reduces your workload, which we know that all of us have too much workload. Uh, and so you don't have to chase credit cards, and it also prevents uh, cancellations. Uh, guests that book through payments by booking are four times less likely to cancel their reservation. So that has been fantastic to see. As both partners and guests have seen to favor payments by booking over the traditional credit card methods, um, we've also decided to give properties that enable payments by booking a slight visibility boost on the front end of booking.com to maximize your guest reach. As we have seen that uh, reservations that are made with payments by booking uh, go a lot more seamless than others. On top of all of that, uh, there's also no transaction fees through 2024. Um, so even you're not even paying a credit card processing fee for these reservations that are coming in. Uh, so it's, uh, though that's also a nice touch. With the payments by booking platform as well, guests have more options to pay for that individual reservation, including all of our favorites like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay. And it just makes the, the checkout process a lot more seamless and secure for that individual guest. Um, ultimately, how it works for you is that a guest uh, makes the reservation as normal through um, our website or mobile app, and then Stripe facilitates that payment um, and deposits it into your bank account on the day of the guest's arrival via an ACH transfer, um, as long, along with the, uh, a, CS, a CSV, excuse me, uh, a file that uh, breaks down that reservation and shows you so your accountants are, are a lot happier with you so you know where that money was coming from. Um, this has been, uh, like I said, a game changer for all the partners that I have had come on it. Uh, they said, Where, why wasn't this done sooner? And um, they, they said that are never going back, um, which is why that there's 51% of our gross bookings are now processed through this platform. Um, it's, it's really nice because it's easier for you as well as it is easier for the guests as well. Okay, and just one question related to that around um, Puerto Rico. Is that included in the U.S. when you consider U.S.? As of right now, it is not in Puerto Rico. That is, that is a, a high focus for us, but not yet. Thank you. Of course. Okay. We also have a variety of tools and features. Um, that will help you uh, pull incremental growth for your listings on Booking.com. I just wanted to highlight it, uh, highlight a few of my favorites that I've seen um, uh, work for a lot of my my partners and clients. Um, starting with content, as we know, uh, content is extremely important. No, no matter uh, what listing channel that you're putting your your properties on, um, we found that 63% of customers use photos as their primary source uh, of searching for a stay. And so a good content is extremely important. And we know that things like property description, host profile, photos, guest reviews are all ways to distinguish what properties uh, to book when guests are on our platform, which is really nice. We have that content connection with, uh, with Hostfully. Um, your property page on booking.com is crafted to showcase that information that is transferred from Hostfully directly. And as we uh, just found out as well, uh, those things that don't necessarily come over from Hostfully that you'd still like to showcase on booking, you are able to come into the ex extranet and add that additional content if you prefer. 
Um, that goes off uh, through multiple categories you can add in, such as in-home in amenities and different features uh, in and, and around your property. Um, it provides a fantastic, clear understanding of, of what your property offers and, and why guests should book you. Okay, a couple tools to help you perform a little better on booking.com. Um, this is just a few of many that we have available that I wanted to share with you. Starting uh, with foundational rates. Uh, foundational rates um, on booking.com, we're able to expand what you offer to potential guests. Uh, as you know, not all guests will book the same rate plan when making a reservation for a vacation rental. Uh, so setting competitive and attractive rates that meet the expectations of these different types of groups is extremely, extremely important and definitely can boost conversion. Um, booking.com allows you to expand on your rate plans to make sure that your pricing strategy aligns with the market demand uh, for your particular area. So as this example I wanted to, to showcase, um, you can set up a flexible cancellation policy rate to attract guests that prefer a little bit more flexibility within their reservation and allow for a potential free cancellation at any point, but also provide a non-refundable rate as well uh, for those that are either a little bit more price conscious or know that they will not be needing to cancel it anytime in the future. So it's nice to have that uh, the ability to showcase those for individual um, each individual guest. And um, those can be set up directly uh, within Hostfully. And so uh, Mitch did just add a link in there as well of how to set those individual ones up uh, directly through the Hostfully platform. Okay, next is uh, mobile bookers. As Kat mentioned, we have a lot of mobile bookers on booking.com. As she said, it's the most used travel app last year and it's continuing to grow. We have over 100 million monthly uh, users on our mobile platform. So it is uh, definitely something uh, that we like to showcase. Um, more than half of our travelers that use booking.com and make it on their phone. So it's important that we, uh, we bring, really bring some attention to this. And we've seen that offering mobile rates uh, can increase your uh, bookers from individuals that use mobile uh, by 22% on average. Um, so to highlight the photo here to the right of the screen, it shows that how mobile rates are tagged and then appear on our mobile app, uh, which entices users to take advantage of those specialized rates. Uh, this feature can easily be enabled directly within your host flea system. Um, it's just a toggle switch. It's fantastic. And so again, uh, I see that Mitch also added some additional information so you can uh, enable that right through host flea. Hey, Kevin, can I just jump in real quick? Yes. Awesome. Um, so yes, mobile rates you can set up in Hostfully for additional rate plans. Um, those will need to be set up in the extranet. So we currently support one rate in Hostfully. And I just wanted to point that out because we do have a help article on it that'll walk you through it. And it's important to set it up that way. Um, so just wanted to point that out before we move on. Great. Thank you. Okay, and then the last tool I wanted to, to showcase is our Genius Program. Uh, Genius Program is our Booking.com's version of our loyalty program. Um, uh, by Genius allows you to target high value guests uh, with special benefits and perks that you're able to offer and customize to those individuals. Uh, by joining the Genius Program, you amplify your visibility to different groups of travelers who typically display a more attractive booking pattern and are less likely to be acquired by any other platform uh, like Airbnb and VRBO. So you're really opening yourself to a whole new demographic of bookers uh, for your vacation rentals. Uh, personally, uh, I take a lot of pride in my, my genius status and uh, I typically will book a rental that is tagged as genius as I know the accommodation is accredited and trusted by other travelers uh, that have uh, stayed and gone. And so I, I, of course, highly recommend it. I do want to dig into a little bit more of, of Genius, of kind of why, um, in a nutshell, Genius is a win-win for our partners and our travelers. Um, when partners sign up for the Genius program, we've noticed an average of 70% increase in search views of your particular listing. Uh, that has translated into 45% more bookings and a 45% additional revenue. So it's been uh, monumental for those partners that have joined that Genius program. And then in addition to that, um, on the traveler side of things, travelers tend to leave much uh, great reviews as well as more reviews. So 29% 20, more reviews uh, for Genius members that have uh, booked the accommodations. It's really a win-win. We want Genius platform to stay simple and um, easy for all of our, our 
our guests that book on on our platform and uh, it's it's a great opportunity to kind of showcase your property uh, to those to those high value partners okay as I've gone over a lot of these, I know a lot of questions do do arise um, as there, we have a lot of different options within the in booking.com and in the extranet and hostfully. And so a great place to go uh, for existing partners and our future partners is our partner hub. Um, our partner hub is extensive. It's kind of like a Google search engine, but specifically for booking.com. Um, you can find anything from how-to articles to performance recommendations for different products. Um, it's it's super valuable resource that I highly recommend that you bookmark if you're on booking.com as that uh, me who works for booking.com uh, references it on a daily basis. So it is fantastic. Uh, in addition, Hostfully has a collection of articles that guide you through connecting and manage your managing your booking listings directly through the Hostfully system. So their articles are step-by-step. -step. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, it, makes, it makes it very clear on what needs to happen to get your properties listed and, and up and running. All right, my key takeaways. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to, uh, Kat talked about the marketing power and the global travelers uh, that we have. Uh, booking offers an inc incremental growth opportunity by connecting you with our domestic travelers in the United States, as well as our global audience, as well as the marketing. Um, our marketing efforts are designed to bring you additional business. Uh, we do that a lot by doing locally relevant uh, marketing specifically for United States vacation rentals. Uh, so we've re really leaned into vacation rentals here in the United States as it's a fantastic market. So you'll see a lot more of that individual targeted marketing. Payments by booking, as I mentioned to you, is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, individuals and, and uh, property management companies that do join payments by booking has seen a night and day difference when it comes to um, kind of sit back and relax and watch the payments come in. So it's a, it's a no-cost payment service uh, through booking. I highly recommend it. And then protection. Protection is very important. Uh, I ask you to please take advantage of those tools like house rules and liability insurance and the damage program uh, to safeguard your property and your business. And then content. As I mentioned, content is extremely important on all channels, uh, including booking.com. We take a lot of pride in that. And so a custom profile and detailed property descriptions add a personal touch to our, our guests that want to book a, a unique property. And then our performance tools. Once you're on booking.com, we have countless performance tools for you to enable and to, to interact with, uh, to utilize like mobile rates and genius programs. Uh, you can boost your property's visibility and really uh, show the strengths of your individual properties. And then, as I mentioned, uh, our property resources, our partner hub and our help page, um, they're packed with tips and information. A lot of, like I said, answers can be found directly in there. Um, as well as I did want to put a quick note in here that uh, for you that have not joined booking.com that are interested into, into um, our onboarding team, onboarding.home at booking.com. If you shoot them a message, they will connect you with the individual that's best within their region. It could possibly also be me. Uh, so if you reach out to them, we'll try to get you listed on booking.com. We have a great relationship with Hostfully and uh, we work together on a daily basis. So we'll be able to get your listings uh, listed and performing well in no time. Thank you for listening to my spiel. Great. Thanks, Caden. Just a, a couple follow-up questions here, and you, you might have covered these a little bit, but there is a lot of interest in the damage program liability insurance. So um, is that partner portal the best place for, for them to go and learn more about that program? Absolutely. Yes. So if you go into our partner help page um, and type those in, we do have full articles that walk you through uh, the, the ins and outs of each of those programs, as well as when you are you enroll on booking.com, you'll be able to see those different options available right within the booking.com extranet and then uh, with direct links as well to give you additional information. Great. Would you mind going back just one screen there, Caden? We also had a, just a request for that onboarding email. So we can just leave it there for a second for anyone that needs that and wants to get going. Um, also, while we're here, um, Ryan had kind of more of a specific question around the damage claim and the guest misconduct, um, I guess, button disappearing after a stay. Is there a different way to do submit or, or something he should be looking for after the stay? Yes, it is uh, important to note with the guest misconduct is that um, 
that option is available for you uh, up starting when the reservation begins up to seven days after that guest uh, were to check out. So there is a time frame that you do need to submit that um, because we have to be able to respond to that guest accordingly. So if if it is with outside of that time frame, that could be why you haven't seen that. And I, I can connect with you outside of this. Otherwise, uh, our customer service team may be able to help uh, because it is outside of that window. Okay, great. Seven days. Important time frame there. Um, and then a, a couple of questions, and, and I know we have some individual follow-up to do um, as well, but um, just related to kind of support, I guess maybe after onboarding and if, if someone needs to get in touch with um, the booking.com support team after the fact, what, what do you guys recommend? What's the best way for people to get some help there? Yeah, so if you're new to booking.com, we do have, like I said, our onboarding team that will help you get your listings uh, onto booking uh, from Hostfully, and we can walk through those individual listings and, and kind of train you on the booking.com extranet. Um, if you've been on booking.com for a while and you're doing well already, you have some questions, um, like I mentioned, that partner help page. Otherwise, we do have a 24-hour customer service team. Um, my favorite way to contact them is how I contact them as well is through the booking.com extranet portal. If you go to the particular listing that uh, the question is for and go to booking.com messages, you're able to reach out to a customer service agent directly through that message and attach any supporting documents that you may need. And our customer service team uh, gets back to you within 24 hours. Uh, so that is uh, the, the best way to reach out, in my personal opinion. Great. Thanks, Kate. All right. If there are any other questions, feel free to submit those. We do have a, a few minutes left here. We've tried to go through and answer some of these in line, and um, a few of these will need some additional follow-up, and so we definitely will do that and get back with you. Um, we'll just give it a, here, a moment here for any other questions. Eric or Kat, anything else you guys wanted to throw in or... Um, I mean, I think you're covering the big ones. I think we're talking about Good. all the big ones here. Um, but yeah, happy to jump in. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're seeing a lot of repeat questions and ones that I think kind of come up again and again. So I just, yeah, I maybe just reiterate that we're working through a lot of these these processes and trying to, you know, make them more and more efficient. So hopefully that's something we can, um, hopefully that became a little bit more clear today and that's something that can do as a follow-up too. Yeah. Yeah. I've definitely heard good things about payments by booking. So I would encourage people if it is available to you to check it out. Um, I love the fact that it's guaranteed payouts. Um, you can also get access to damage protection. So I think it's a great program. I've heard a lot of good things from a lot of people who use it. Um, so would definitely recommend that. Excellent. Thanks guys. Just taking a look here to see if we have any other Questions coming in here. Um, so here's one, Eric, you and I could probably handle this and it's come up a couple of times, but as far as collecting payments for upsells, early check-in or even pet fees or things like that, what, what do we recommend for collecting those payments? Yeah, absolutely. So you can send um, a direct request to the guest um, for that additional fee. So that would be offline. Um, so for example, if you use the payment processor through Hostfully, um, you can go ahead and contact the guest and arrange that payment uh, directly with them. Great, thank you. All right, paymentsbybooking.com. We, we kind of touched on this a little bit, but a lot of interest um, where do customers go to sign up? Where will they be able to um, opt in to payments by booking? Yeah, so you can find payments by booking um, within your booking.com extranet. Uh, it'll be under the finance tab. You click on that and it's going to give you a Stripe, our partner that uh, processes the cards. Uh, they uh, will ask you some questions, legitimize, make sure that you're a legitimate business. And then once that is accepted, it doesn't take too long. Um, you can then enroll all of your properties uh, onto payments. Excellent. Thanks, Kate. All right. 
Let's see, I think those are the questions. A few requests here and um, pieces of feedback as well. We'll definitely follow up on those. Um, oh, Carrie dropped one in here really quick. Um, and uh, a, a question as far as guest validation and kind of, uh, you know, how that works through booking.com or through the payment platform and just any insight you guys can kind of provide on that. Yeah, so guest validation, uh, we can, uh, th that is what I recommend as far as our Genius Program is a version of that. So if you're part of the uh, Genius Program for loyalty, you can ultimately see what Genius level they are uh, that are that's coming in, and that goes for any reservation. Um, so that, like, I, like I mentioned within that Genius Program, and I can send out that link, um, that is a great way to, to verify that, uh, you know, how long booking or the guest has been with booking.com. Okay, great. All right. So let's see. I think we are wrapping up here. Um, a few folks are saying that they don't see the payments by booking option. They're under finance. Um, I know it could differ by situation, but any any suggestions if they're not seeing that? Uh, I suppose it may or may not be available in their area or a few other reasons, but just anything else you guys would provide on that? Yeah, so I highly recommend if you go to our partner hub uh, page and go into the payments by booking, you are able to see the different criteria to be eligible. Uh, like I said, you have to be within the United States and Canada. Um, and so sometimes if you're outside of those regions, you won't see that or you'll see a different uh, uh, payment provider or payment solution that booking.com offers outside of the United States. Great. Any, any other limitations on like time that they have to have been listed on booking.com or anything like that we should point out? Um, there, there's, no, there's no limitations. You can sign up for payments by booking right away. Um, if for some reason you do not see it um, within the within your extranet, um, you can shoot a message to the, the finance section of our customer service team and they will uh, be able to, to see why that's not showing up as well. Yep, and then also just to add to that one for the US and Canada, you have to have at least two vacation rental properties to be eligible. Yes. Sorry, Keith, you already said that. I'm just making sure I recovered. Thank you. All right, and time for me, just a couple more here. A uh, question on the um, host mobile app for booking.com. And I'm, I'm honestly not sure if there is one, but uh, <laughs> is there one and where can you find it? Yes, there is a, there is a mobile app for host. It's called the Pulse app, P-U-L-S-E. Um, that way you're able to manage all of your and see all of your reservations that have come through booking.com directly through the app. Uh, the one caveat that I do like to put out there is that um, it, to get your properties first enlisted on the booking.com, uh, we do that all through the, the web based on, online to get everything for, over from Hostfully. But uh, once your properties are up and running, uh, you can use that Pulse app to, to manage all of those reservations. Excellent. Learn something new. Thank you, guys. That's <laughs> yeah. great. Oh, I learned I learned more than something, but that's great. Yeah, Kat, go ahead. Yeah, just one more thing about payments. Uh, just uh, another uh, just another area that might be good to check. If make sure you're seeing it there. If you have multiple properties, again, use the group homepage. So the group extra net where you can manage multiple listings within Booking.com to check there for the payments uh, and opt into payments for the U.S. and Canada. So that group homepage has a finance tab as well. It's a uh, that's where we'd recommend checking for eligibility. Great, thank you for the inside tips. Appreciate that. Um, and I think with that, we have kind of rounded everything out. If we didn't get to your question, uh, we do have a record of all of those and either our support team or the booking.com uh, team will follow up with you guys um, and we'll be happy to answer those questions. Um, Kat, Caden, Eric, thank you guys so much for your time today and for taking us through all that. That was wonderful and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again soon on the next webinar.